and it's so hard to build your life up after that. Trans wives has become a trend. Like every, most women who want to get married are thinking of the trad wives and there is like so many popular trad wives such as Nara Smith. You know about Nara Smith? I mean, everyone knows. Who doesn't know Nara Smith? She cooks every day online and does like trad wives for, as an influencer and she's got so many views on her videos. I mean, million views. And most of the people who want to get married nowadays are like, oh, I want to be a trad wife trad wife. I want to sit home. I want to take care of the kids. I want to just be my husband's wife, you know, but it, 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 it's, it, it looks like fairy tale, but in reality to be a trad wife is not easy. Like it's, is it even real to be a trad wife? Um, yeah. I mean, I think this video is so, so sad and that's definitely, I think the reality of a lot of women I definitely don't think like trad wives are, I think it's a case to case basis, but I, I think that moms like being a mom in this society is not uh, seen as a respectable job or as a, as a job, as a career or as a, so it's like, well, you're just a mom. And I think, as long as society sees mom being a mom in that way, it's going to be really hard for like a woman to be protected in, in that situation. So I, I, I like, I've, I've seen a couple of women be trad wives and be happy for years and years and years, like friends of my family. But the majority of the examples that I have have gone like in a similar situation to this one, just uh, growing up and seeing like what it was like. What I think is that if you really want to be a trad wife, it really does depend on the partner that you have and who they are and how protected you make yourself before going into that agreement. I think it just should never be like an assumption. I think it should be a a pre-made agreement if i'm going to be a trad wife what is what security do i get for taking 10 years off a career 